Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on June 29th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at earthquakes, volcanoes, disasters, and of course, space weather. Starting out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms the last 48 hours. We do have two Earth-facing sunspots and as well two more that have crested. Looking at the incoming imagery here, we did have an Earth-facing solar blast from the sunspot on the right-hand side there. And as well, a few fiery events from the one on the left-hand side. Looking at outgoing images here, lots of plasma firing up. So lots of backside action, I'm sure, on the sun right now. Another quick look at these sunspots. And then as well, this plasma activity on top right of the sun here. Just wanted to give you an example on the Earth to scale. And that was quite a quite a blast off of plasma. I'm sure that was the, the rope that was hanging around there the last few days. Looking here at multi-spectrum seeing all the events and as well there that last flash there 511 angstroms earth facing cme and no corona holes to talk about looking at iswa here you can see that this event is expected to hit us june 3rd to the 5th and that was a directly earth directed cme Looking at real-time solar wind right now, as we are sitting at about 337 kilometers per second, we did have a small jump to about 350, but no major space weather events to talk about. Geomagnetic activity remains low, and it's solar X-ray flux as well. Looking at Lasco 2 and Lasco 3, the small Earth-facing event, you can see when those winds are affected all around the sun, that is an Earth-facing event looking at schumann resonance for today a power of 57 you can see just recently pretty heavy spike and then a blackout it seems so base frequency of 7.8 quality of 8.7 amplitude of 57 let's have a look at earthquakes here for the last 24 hours across the planet starting out with most recent Earthquake in the Philippines, as there has been a pretty active day throughout the Philippines and Indonesia. So recently here, Tobilo, Indonesia, 4.6, but as well, Kolipapa, Philippines, at a 65 kilometer depth, 4.6, 4.8, Serengani. So very active trench there, and as well, 4.6 here, Indonesia, 257 kilometer depth, right by Luatolo. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours to report, 5.3 here in Luganville, Vanuatu, 123 kilometer depth. And our deepest, deepest earthquake today, 4.6, 515 kilometer depth. Taiwan seeing a 4.6 today, a 65 kilometer depth. And as well, Japan, Miyazaki, Japan, 5.0. Interesting little India quake here, 3.2 in Lal, India, 4.1 there reported Turkey, and as well Italy, Pelagonia, 2.9 at a 23 kilometer depth. Most of the activity has been here in Puerto Rico, as they did to start the day off with a 4.1 in Cruz Bay, Virgin Islands, and as well a 3.5, 3.4 very active throughout Puerto Rico. And as well, a pretty rare earthquake here, 4.7 reported in Candelaria, Cuba. 4.5 there reported in Nicaragua. 4.6 El Salvador. And as well, 4.4 Mexico. Looking across the United States, central region here, 2.9 in Ellis, Kansas. 10 kilometer depth as well 2.5 toya texas into the border with mexico and california saw 3.9 earthquake today san francisco bay area mina nevada seeing a 2.9 
and off the coast of Oregon reporting a 4.0. And of course, we were talking about the Yellowstone earthquakes. They have since ceased. But the only other concerning area here is Thermal, California, just north of the Salton Sea. No other major swarms to talk about right now. But interesting quakes here. Selvang, California. And of course, the 3.9 here in San Francisco Bay, Lorenzo, California. Small swarm there continuing at the geysers. On to Alaska here. 3.1 there in Juneau, Alaska, border with BC. And as well, Akyok, Alaska, 20 kilometer depth, 4.3, largest in the region. As well, minor earthquakes throughout Hawaii today in, in the caldera of Kilauea. Last but not least here, South American plate, Bolivia 4.5 and Argentina 4.6. Pretty quiet through South America the last 24 hours. And that's the last 24 hours across the planet for earthquakes. Have a quick look at the last seven days. So all of the dark red, that is 4.0. So we've seen a lot of 4.0s across the planet. 5.0, Northern uh, South America. Quiet through the North American plate. Pretty active through Central America. Seems average through South American plate. Increasing activity through Europe. And continuing, of course, earthquakes through China, which I don't report too often on. We will have to get an in-depth earthquake look across the planet here soon. Let's have a quick look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Sabankaya in Peru, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Senge in Ecuador. Extreme heat warnings across the Northern Hemisphere. Many fire warnings across Africa, United States, Reventador in Ecuador. Samaru, Indonesia, Dokono in Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevada, de Chilean, Sarchev Peak in Russia, as well, Merapi, Indonesia, Era in Japan. So that's about 14 volcanoes getting updated today. Pretty active day for volcanoes and as well, extreme heat. And one tropical depression here to talk about, tropical depression Danny, who formed on the coastline and is heading now into the cold front coming from Canada. As well, we do have Enrique, who doesn't have much moisture with it, but the center of, of the low is still heading northward right into these dry regions. So hopefully it brings some moisture with it. Fires are continuing through California, southern, and as well northern California. The Shasta Lava Fire. And as well, a new fire here to report the Sparks Fire in BC, Sparks Lake Fire, and as well, Carbon County still going in Montana. So yeah, stay safe, stay cool, and uh, I guess stay tuned to your local radio stations for any evacuations or newly developed fires. Extreme heat conditions here across Europe as well, Austria, Luth Lithuania, Hungary, Serbia, Southern Italy. Stay cool, my friends and family across the world. Let's have a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth and, of course, daily events worldwide starting out here. Home base, Calgary, Alberta. As, yeah, it is stifling hot out there and it is, we're expected to have our highest temperature tomorrow and the day after and then we might see a change here. Having a look at the five-day forecast across Western Canada right now. Extreme heat conditions all the way up to Fort Mac. And as well, BC breaking records. But watch for these, rec these hot temperatures to move away by Sunday. And we might get some thunderstorms. Yay, a little bit of moisture here. Southern Alberta and Northern Alberta looking for a little bit of moisture. Across Eastern Canada. 
and as well the United States. Cooler temperatures through Quebec and as well Atlantic provinces. And then watch for that long line of moisture here. Atmospheric river stretching from the middle of the Atlantic to pretty much Colorado. And a couple lows are wrapped up in it as we do have multiple vortexes all across the northern hemisphere right now in which I posted just last week. Central regions here showing no major storm developments. A couple areas of interest through both coasts of Mexico east and west and as well through Nicaragua there could see a low developing off the coast. South America, no major weather systems affecting you this week. Daily evaporation rains, very dry. And then watch for low pressure system after low pressure system here, bringing waves of moisture towards Argentina over the next five days. And then extreme heat conditions through Europe as the heat from Africa and as well the east floods into the Mediterranean and as well watching a low pressure system that is centered through Central Europe so watch for extreme weather throughout the week watching a lot of lightning strikes across the northern hemisphere right now another low pressure system here coming into Ireland and UK no major weather systems affecting Africa this week could see some heavy rains Saturday to Sunday through Congo regions. Extreme heat through Yemen, Iraq, and Iran. And the moisture just continues up into Nepal. And the Himalayas, low pressure system hanging around there. And as well, low pressure system here in the Indian Ocean. And it looks like it's going to be bringing through some pretty large waves of moisture heading towards Sumatra, parts of western Indonesia, and into Thailand. For the long range there, some pretty big waves of moisture coming. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. No major weather systems affecting you except for this low coming later in the week, but it doesn't look like it's going to grow into anything serious. Overlooking Australia, line of moisture here affecting you, forecasted two days ago. Not much has changed since, since then. You, you will see some coastal rain as far north as Victoria, or sorry, uh, New South Wales. And as well, watch for western parts of the continent here. Low pressure system coming from the south and as well a system coming from the equator. High pressure ridge locked in over New Zealand for this forecast some pretty cool temperatures overlooking the pacific no major weather systems coming into hawaii this week except for daily evaporation rains i'm sure going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the major weather systems in both hemispheres thank you so much for watching today this has been mike with morning dew daily events worldwide much love prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your boarding due. Bye-bye now. video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world